Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to be doing episode 7, How Do They Currently Feel About You? So, take what resonates, leave the rest for someone else. Let's go ahead and get into it. Y'all already know, we got three piles. Pile 1, we got the Rose Quartz. Pile 2, we got the Citrine. And Pile 2, we have the um, Soda Light, okay? So, choose which pile calls to you. Let's go ahead and get into it. For those of you who chose Pile 1, we got the Rose Quartz. Okay, so let's see how do they currently feel about you. So you have, let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims, it simply allows and gives. Interesting. So, how does this person currently feel about you? I feel like you guys are very close, or, you know, when you're close, or like, you could be very, like, like to be intimate with each other here is what I'm getting, but I feel like, Maybe you give each other some sort of time and space here. I'm getting space. Um, interesting. Okay, so let's see. We have proud. How do they currently feel about you? So you could be winning some sort of award here or you're very victorious, well accomplished is what I'm getting. Um, yeah, trophies or something like that. Maybe some of you have a lot of trophies. I mean, I'm getting like proud energy. You're very uh skilled when it comes to like or you're very good when it comes to completing and accomplishing things okay mastering something this is how this person currently feels about you so let's see we have respect yeah that's what i'm getting like this could be a really beautiful relationship like you give each other space and that's what i'm getting like when you're together you're together but you know you always give each other space here this is how this person currently feels about you um for some of you you're never i mean you're not putting a label on things as well that's just for some of you um this person has a lot of respect for you this is how you know this person currently is feeling about you i feel like they admire you um yeah they have a lot of respect for you okay i feel like because you're very strong and you go after what you want here is what i'm getting you're very um accomplished and you, you, i feel like i feel like people respect you um yeah that's what i'm getting i feel like people respect you and this person has a high level of respect for you that's what i'm getting we have weight the timing is not quite right so a lot of you i feel like you could be going after your goals your career your dreams okay i'm getting college or career like for a lot of you and this person just respects your ambition um how passionate you are definitely we have release yeah i feel like um for some of you you're just going after your goals going after your dreams and it's not that you don't want to be in a relationship it may be just you know you going after your goals and what it is that you desire and i feel like this person respects that about you that's what i'm getting this is how they currently feel about you so you could have released this person or you may have to, you may have even taken a break here we have lessons and with the book this kind of just reminds me of you going after your achievements okay but it's, it could be different from everybody let's get the rest of the cards out okay um we have try okay so wow you have try me not in the mood. The answer is no. Pissed off on the chopping block. Fed up. Things need to change. Interesting. Let's see what else. Ooh, what's going on here? You have rocking it. Okay. Um, being yourself. Confident. Loud and proud. Hitting the right notes. Harmonious. Concert. Showing off. I'm getting a very loud energy. So, um... Maybe the person that you were connecting with here, I could be picking up on their energy with them being like very loud and out of control. Could be maybe a rock star is what I'm getting or somebody who's just like very confident and very outgoing. Um, somebody who's just very loud and they just are themselves here or just they just have a totally different um vibe than you is what i'm getting we have the screw interesting not interested um leaving quickly in trouble getting shafted okay um horizontal um her, okay so telling someone off interesting a lot of okay so let's see what else do we got here because okay we have trials of love lessons yeah we got lessons here twice so what is going on here because i feel like there could have maybe you had to yeah so this person currently feels that you had to release this person i don't know why i'm getting like maybe you guys are on two different levels because i'm getting a very mature um <clears throat> mature energy coming from you you know being this accomplished person wanting to always 
there's always a desire for you to learn more and to move to the next level here. And this person may have been stuck in their ways, um, not really wanting to build. I'm just getting like a very playful, um, not really looking forward toward the future type of energy I'm getting from this energy. Yeah, so it's like you could have been, yeah, and this could be how they... Uh, currently feel about you it's like this was kind of like a lesson here to be learned I feel on their end as far as not taking things serious I feel like you were the type to like go after your dreams and you know and this person was just kind of like just hanging around and maybe wanting <clears throat> not taking things serious that's the energy that I'm getting here like a party goer with this um, concert showing off very loud and confident and just a rock and roll type of energy or just like just carefree and just not having any um, values or not having any dreams or just um, living on the edge type of person here is what I'm getting. So I feel like with you, when it comes to you, how they currently feel about you is that th this relationship was a lesson for them here. Like meeting you or just being in your presence here. It's kind of like a lesson in love. Um, when to take things serious here is what I'm getting. Interesting. We have spirit of the scales, karma, justice, and balance. Wow. We have spirit of spirit of alchemy manifest skill transmutation yeah that's what i'm getting like you are very powerful you whatever you set your intentions to with hard work and determination you get that shit done and i feel like you guys had two different energies here and this is how this person is currently feeling about you it's like you had to let you had to let them go they learned a lesson though here is what i'm getting um from this connection we have heart on the line interesting we got the ten of pentacles we have the page of cups you have the king of pentacles and you have the wheel of fortune so i'm getting major shifts and changes i feel like this person wants to come in to offer you this little cup i really feel like this person really don't doesn't have i feel like you guys are on two different levels first of all let me just say um Again, you're able to manifest. You're able to go after your dreams. You're able to go after your goals. This person is just kind of like not sure. They're undeveloped. They're just not sure about what they want to do. And that could be why you were in this standoff energy. Um, it almost reminds me of like a couple or like, okay, like two people graduating from high school. And I'm just using this as an example. Two people or two people that's in a relationship are graduating from high school. They're, you know, thinking about filling out applications to go off to college. One person wants to uh, go after their dreams and the other person wants to play around and, you know, do nothing. They don't, you know, they're not really sure about what they want. And so it's like, <laughs> yeah. You didn't put your life on hold for this person. You had to move forward here. So you being in this standoff energy, okay, with this try me, I just feel like with this, it's like you were like, okay, putting things out on the table, you wanting things to change within this connection here, and this person wasn't getting on board. So it's like you had to put their head on the fucking chopping block and cut it off here. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like, yeah, there's a valuable lesson to learn here, I feel, especially on this person's part, because I feel like you had to release this person. And so, and you even look at the difference, whether you're male or female looking, I'm just getting like this person coming forward with an offer and like there's a big difference between the king of pentacles and the page and the page of pentacles so right off the bat i just feel like this person could be coming forward wanting to offer what they can to you okay um definitely looking or wanting some sort of change here but i feel like you could be very grounded you know you could be wanting a commitment you could be wanting something for long term here um, and with this little offer, I mean, it's really not much <laughs> is what I'm getting here. Um, interesting. Yeah, I feel like this person wants to come in with this offer here. I feel like this person is going to be sending you a message or so of some sort. They have a lot of respect for you, though. They definitely respect you for going after your dreams and your goals and accomplishing that, okay? And I'm also getting, too, with the weight card. I feel like the timing wasn't right. It wasn't quite right. Maybe you guys were on two different 
you know, levels at the time. I feel like there's definitely a valuable lesson to be learned here. Um, but I feel like this person wants to balance the scales here. They want to balance some things. Um, they could definitely be wanting a second chance as well. Um, let's see. I want to put one more card on this page of cups. What is this? Cause, yeah, because I feel like this person definitely could be either sending you a message or like popping up. Okay, this is definitely somebody that, yeah, this could be a past an old lover here. Okay. So, yeah, we have the five of wands, the two of cups, and the ten of wands. Interesting. And we got the ten of cups here. Interesting. All clarifying this page of cups. I feel like for some of you, though... Some of y'all could be, I don't know why I'm getting married. I just heard married, okay? Now, this is, okay, so I feel like for some of you, you could be married here. And this person, this person that we're talking about, this could be somebody from your past long ago, somebody that you released here. I'm getting somebody who's immature or maybe younger than you. I'm getting them coming forward with an offer here. Um... But for some of you, I feel, I don't know why I'm getting like now the story is changing because Spirit is saying the timing is not quite, quite right. Some of y'all could be in the marriage here is what I'm getting. Um, so this person coming in definitely would bring or cause some sort of conflict here or competition with the Five of Wands, drama, okay, with the Five of Wands. Yeah, I'm getting some of y'all definitely could be in a new relationship or marriage here because uh, we got the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Cups. Yeah, I'm getting you definitely could be in a relationship and or partnership here So or, or even marriage, okay, for some of you. For some of you, I'm I'm getting the feeling this person may be waiting for a marriage to be over here is what I'm getting. For some, that's only going to resonate for some of you. This person could be waiting for a marriage to be over. I'm getting respect because I just heard respectful. Somebody could be respecting the fact that you're married or some shit like that. That's just for some of you. I don't know if your marriage is over or you've reached the end of something or something of that sort. Because we do have three tens here and that talks about completion. So I'm not sure if you're... If you're married or ending a situation, but I'm getting like this person, how they're currently feeling, feeling about you is that the timing was not quite right, maybe even in the past or now. Okay, I'm getting like timing is not right, is not quite right here. Something about either marriage or, yeah, because it feels like if this person was to come in, then they would have to compete for you. For those of you who already have somebody stable here or who is already in a commitment here. Because I'm getting like you're accomplishing a lot. You have the ability. Yeah, th and things have changed here for you as well with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, interesting. Wow. So take that however it resonates. But that's what I'm getting with this. Yeah, I had to add some more cards here. I'm getting, yeah, this is a lot. Um, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Getting Aquarius energy here as well. Could be air energy. But take that, you know, take however it resonates with you. But I'm getting, yeah, this is how this person currently feels about you. Definitely getting, like, more than one storyline. So just take whatever resonates for you, okay? But that's what I have for you. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose Pile 2, we got the Citrine. Let's go ahead and get into your reading. Episode 7, how do they currently feel about you? Wow. So you have, um, why am I starting off with this one first? Let me start off with this. So you have playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Interesting. How do they currently feel about you? We have ashamed, unworthy, disgraced, and humiliated. Interesting. So I'm getting a very youthful or fun energy. But, well, well not really fun because I'm not getting fun with this ashamed card. But with the playfulness card, it just reminds me of someone who could be um, maybe a little immature here. Okay. But I'm getting definitely healing needs to be done here but this person is currently feeling humiliated or not worthy here okay confused all over the place wow um puzzled disoriented and regret yeah i'm getting very much so in a dark space 
Thank you, Spirit. So this person, this is how they currently feel like about you. Somebody has a lot of regret and remorse, okay, for the way they treated you. I feel like you could have released this person. Yeah, you surrendered this connection. This person is in a dark place. They are feeling, I'm getting embarrassment, humiliated, disgraced, very confused. They don't know why they feel like this. I'm getting somebody feels just a lot of regret for how they treated you here. Okay, we have compromise. I'm getting this person wasn't willing to compromise, though. We have glam it up. Wow, bring your A game. Hit in the town. Make an effort. Edgy venue. The finish touches and stylish. So I'm getting, you could be really dressing really nice here or something about maybe it's an upgrade for how you used to dress. I don't know. That's what that's what's coming through here. Okay, you're putting your A game on or you're hitting the town. Or maybe people are talking about you. I'm getting, you could be making an effort to put more effort into, like put more glam into your appearance here is what I'm getting with the glam it up. Okay, that's what I'm getting. We have teasing. Yeah, you definitely could be very teasing with the outfits that you wear okay i'm getting nice clothes here nice hair like the hair stayed done a lot of um um bags here shoes dresses i don't know why i'm getting like yeah like the whole nine you could be changing your appearance here is what i'm getting and somebody is feeling a lot of regret and shame for how they treated you i'm feeling like this somebody was not able to compromise with you or didn't want to they feel regret yeah they feel a lot of shame and they're like very confused so maybe there's something about your appearance or something that could have changed for you you could be very float flirtatious or others may be having a crush on you is what i'm getting okay yeah you could be a tease here as well yeah, you could be playing, having fun. You said keep it airy, enjoying each other and, and joking around. I'm getting you definitely could be enjoying yourself. Maybe you're single. This is how they're currently feeling about you. Yeah, somebody is having a lot. Uh, somebody needs therapy is what I'm getting. Whoa. Yeah, because playfulness, laughter is the best therapy. Yeah, I'm getting somebody. This person may need therapy. That's what I'm getting here. We have sleep on it. Think before you speak. Get rest. Don't sabotage. Call it a day. Need a break. Sleep. Deprive. I'm getting somebody is not able to sleep or that just could be you because you're having a lot of fun. I'm getting somebody... Yeah, because I'm getting, I'm hearing things maybe opening up soon. So somebody could be going out. Remember, this is a time. Let's read in, you guys. Okay, so I'm getting somebody could be going out. Yeah, to the club, having fun, having a lot of fun here. Okay, and maybe you're, you're just having so much fun that your body needs a break here. I mean, you're having that much fun. And it could be that because, you know, we, we spent, uh, you know, quite... Well, not a whole lot of time in quarantine, but for some of you who's used to going out and having fun, you're damn right. So, you could be just having a fucking ball, I mean, with all of this fun here, and needing to <clears throat> take a break here from having all of this fun here. That's what I'm getting. Needing to rest and take a break, because you're definitely, I feel like a lot of you are going to be going out, having a lot of fun. But this is how this person is currently feeling about you. Like, they are definitely regretting it big time. We have round and around. Yeah, I feel like somebody keeps going around and around and around with something in their head here. Okay, we have Spirit of Hecate. I love this card. Goddess, goddess of Night, Crossroads, and Ghosts. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And I'm getting a feeling of Goddess. This is like... um my high priestess card or my my high priestess mixed with the empress card like the goddess you know you um being very intuitive here um you also some of y'all could be a mother but i don't know why i'm getting like hitting the town dressing up going out with your friends just having a ball dating just having the time of your life and not being stuck you're going with the flow you're surrendering to the universe and you're definitely seeing all that with you know all that the universe has to offer here is what i'm getting and this person is going crazy over here in the dark here we have spirit of mermaid yeah beauty untamed and free so you're definitely like really having the time of your life we have up in smoke interesting yeah i'm getting in an energy of like this person could have said some things yeah because i'm getting with this regret um someone feels remorse for the way they've treated you and we have up in smoke i feel like there there could have been some shit that this person could have said to you and their words could be haunting them or they could, you know, they, they're just having a lot of regret here is what I'm getting. And not only that, I feel like maybe the connection that you guys had 
with this person went up in fucking smoke again I feel like they were not they were unable to compromise with you but now that you're some, it's something about you is different maybe the way you dress maybe your appearance I don't know maybe you've lost weight I'm not sure whatever you're doing is different and so this person is like they're they feel a lot of confusion at this time like they don't know where to turn they're on a fucking merry-go-round they're clueless like that's what i'm getting we have the knight of wands we have the eight of wands we have the seven of wands yeah and we got the three of cups because i'm getting like you're definitely closing this person out you could be again having fun going out partying with your friends dating having fun with your family and friends like just having a lot of fun going out celebrating enjoying the night out like that's what i'm getting here you could be blocking this person but i'm i am feeling this person coming in here and that's crazy because i felt that this like i said y'all i cannot make this shit up this person is going around and around and around and around and around there's the horse here this person is going around here and they're not able to find no one like you like you are irreplaceable so i feel this person coming forward coming in really fast rushing forward maybe sending you messages traveling um that's what i'm getting moving really fast movement is definitely is what i'm getting from this so this person coming forward and i feel like you're definitely going to have your guard up you're able to stand in your power you also could be fighting this person off but i do feel them coming in because they are whatever this regret is and whatever they did to you it's eating at them so i'm getting like they have no choice but to come forward because you surrendered this person you release this person and you're having a really good time being fun being free okay and i'm getting something about your beauty so you definitely could have changed interesting yeah and now things in this person's life may be going up in smoke and they don't know how to take it. So they're definitely trying to come back in to gain some sort of control over this situation. Okay. I feel like, yeah, you could have healed. You could have healed. Some of y'all could have having, you know, some of y'all could have had to go to therapy, but I'm getting this person needs therapy. Okay. Yeah. Cause I feel like you're having the time of your life. You're laughing. You're enjoying your, you know, yourself. You could have healed from this person again because we got the surrender card. So you've released the situation to the universe. And with that being said, you could have healed your heart chakra. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. And now this person is coming in because they feel regret and remorse. They feel confused because you're living your life without them and you're dating and you're not worried about them. Okay, and you're blocking them out and you're standing up for yourself and you're not willing to just take what they're not willing to give. That's what I'm getting. So that's what I have. We got fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, water energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, yeah, yeah. I feel like you definitely could have been dealing with the player though, with the Knight of Wands energy. Okay, yeah, somebody who's a player or somebody who's very adventurous, charming, outgoing, and just with the playfulness card, too. Yeah, so that's what I have for you. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. For those of you who chose Pile 3, we got the black, um, I don't know why I said black. <laughs> we got the sort of light stone. Let's go ahead. It's actually like, like a dark blue, okay? So let's go ahead and get into your reading. How do they, um... How do they currently feel about you? So we have give thanks for blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. Beautiful energy. So some of y'all definitely could be single, but I'm getting like you grounding yourself with this energy, okay? And you need to, or you could be giving thanks, okay? And yeah, there's blessings coming in or love coming your way. Yeah, that's definitely a blessing of love coming your way. So you definitely, yeah. Okay, so we have trust. It is safe for you to trust in the situation. You have secrecy. Okay, you have hello. Let's see what else we have here. Okay, get the cards out. So you have rose-colored glasses. Ooh. You have spirit of envy. You have news. Interesting. Group of cards. Kept this heart guarded. Interesting. Okay. You also have... Wow. Reckless. You have spirit of the angel. Guidance, blessings, answer prayers. Interesting. Yeah, and we have give thanks for blessings of love to soon come your way. Answer prayers, guidance, and yeah, I'm getting blessings are definitely coming your way. So spirit is definitely watching over you. But I am getting, this is, okay, so this is how they currently feel, feeling, 
how are they currently feeling about you? So maybe they're feeling that like you're blessed. You're, you know, a lot of your prayers are being answered. You have a lot of guidance. Spirit is definitely watching over you. Somebody is definitely um envious. That's really what's standing out to me. This could be a past lover because we do got secrecy here. An affair, hiding something, use direction, surprise, collaborate, protecting, denying risk. So this could be maybe somebody is is secretly and secretly envious of you. Maybe this is someone that you had a secret connection with and or relationship. But I'm getting like you manifesting, you know. With the Muse card, this is you being the creator of your own destiny, okay? So let's see what else we have here. See what this person is envy, envious for. Okay, we have peaceful, calm, serene, and centered. So this is how they currently feel about you. So I'm getting this reckless energy. Or maybe you could have been reckless in the past or maybe around or surrounding this person. Because I'm getting a secret affair here. So maybe you could have had a secret rendezvous or something like that. Or secret one night stand or something like that. But somebody is envious because... Your aunt, your prayers are being answered here, okay? So, let's see. Because I'm getting with this hello card. Somebody may be trying to get your in attention, or maybe this person is not able to get your attention um, any longer here. Because we have distant, distracted, deep in thought. Um, detached, aloof, not feeling it. Find answers in music. So interesting. I feel like, ooh, that could have been maybe a secret relationship that you have with this person. But I'm getting, yeah. And then the fact that we have rose-colored glasses. This is this is somebody seeing a situation through rose-colored glasses. So it's somebody is not able or always going to be able to um, see clearly. So I'm getting, you could have cut a situation off where now you have a peace of mind. Things are clear. Let's see. What else we have? So no wonder why there could be somebody being envious. Yeah, we have mask and we have trust. Wow, so maybe you're trusting in something new. Yeah, look at that. We have the lover. So I'm getting you could be in a new relationship. So that's what it is here. You're creating something new here. Could have met someone new. You're coming together with this person here. You could have cut this person off that you had maybe a secret connection with. Because I'm getting like an energy of maybe you being in this energy of you feeling or being or acting very reckless. Getting lit. Okay, highly uh, volatile relationships. Personal use, okay, precautions and protection. So I'm getting like could have been very reckless or out there maybe within the secret connection. But I'm getting the, some mask is off here. Yeah, you're healing. You could be in a new connection here is what I'm getting. And yeah, look at that. We got the fucking five of swords right there and the chariot. Yeah, I'm getting you could be, you could have moved forward, overcame some sort of obstacle here. Spirit is blessing you. Maybe you, maybe you was honest about a secret affair here but i'm getting like you could be trying to pour into your foundation healing this connection or relationship here yeah it's what i'm getting and then we have the five of swords which means somebody is looking back at your connection i'm getting maybe somebody tried to break up your connection here but i'm getting there was definitely some sort of secret affair here but i'm getting somebody could be envy envious of you because maybe you've cut this off or you move forward and you're protecting your heart you're guarding yourself so this is how they're currently feeling about you wow so there could have been this is a lot here okay there could have been some sort of secret affair going on here and now you could have um maybe that came out and now you're trying to overcome some sort of obstacle because that's how i look at the chariot overcoming obstacles okay being able and working together so maybe you're working together with your person interesting yeah that's what i'm getting you're working together with your person here and this person maybe that you had something with they could be jealous of this yeah very envious that's what i get from the five of swords getting a lot of conflict so they so this person could be trying to cause some sort of conflict in your situation maybe speaking out or talking Talking reckless here as well as about about this secret situation here is what I'm getting. So this person that's envious and jealous of you could be an ex person that you had a connection with. Maybe a one night stand or something like that. But I'm getting you moving forward. Maybe meeting someone new and building a firm foundation. Trusting in this new person here. Very calm. Okay. Grounded energy. And this person may not like it. I'm getting a lot of negative, envious, miserable energy here. Okay. So that's it. We're going to leave it there. Air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. If this reading resonated with you in any way, like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye.